Welcome. Today the church celebrates the feast of St. Thomas the Apostle. Our presider today is Father Ben. You are my God, and I confess you. You are my God, and I exalt you. I will thank you, for you became my Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. St. Thomas is well known as a doubter. Unfortunately, we don't maybe speak enough about his faith. Yes, he doubted, but he also had a strong faith. So we ask the Lord, through the help of St. Thomas, that you and I, we will continue to grow in our faith. But we always begin by asking the Lord to forgive us for whatever sins you and I may have committed. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may glory in the feast of the blessed Apostle Thomas, so that we may always be sustained by his intercession, and believing may have life in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, whom Thomas acknowledged as the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, which Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord, in whom you are also being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out, Go out to, to all, all the, world the world and tell the, the good, good news. news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go, Go out, out to, to all, all the world, world and tell the good news. news. For steadfast is his kindness for us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go, Go out, out to, to all, all the world, world and, and tell, tell the, the good, good news. news. Father, your blessing may the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may worthily proclaim his good news in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas. 
Because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to to you, O Lord. Lord. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A man was vacationing, vacationing alone in a small cabin in the California mountains. He was feeling lonely and depressed. Something was radically wrong with his life. God seemed to have deserted him. His faith was flickering and threatening to go out. In desperation, the man turned to God and promised that he would do anything God wanted him to do if God would give him back his peace of mind, give him back his faith. Then something strange happened. God seemed to speak to the man. God seemed to say to him, start living out the teachings of Jesus, even though you don't understand them. At that moment, the man made a big decision. He resolved then and there to live his life according to the teachings of Jesus. That decision turned the man's lives around. It was not easy at first, he said. He fell back into his old ways again and again. And in in an article that he wrote entitled Living the Word, the man says that his experience taught him a lesson that he never forgot the rest of his life. I learned the rights to hear the word and act on it. I chose this reading because to me, when we listen to the gospel we just heard, About the resurrection, it must, you know, we say, well, you and I, we believed it for 2,000 years. But at the time of the apostles, yes, Jesus had said that he would rise again, but they had never experienced it. And when the risen Lord appeared to the apostles, Jesus was not with the community. And this is why, while they received the gift of faith in the resurrection, He was not with the community, but then the following week he was with them. And when Jesus said to him, you know, put your hand in my mark and so on and on, the text doesn't say that that Thomas touched the, the marks of Jesus in his side, in his hands. But he said, he received the gift of faith. He said, my Lord and my God. He was looking at the man, Jesus. Yes, he was a risen Lord, but... 
his faith told them that he was not only uh, the same Jesus, but he was also God. And he had risen from the dead. He called him my Lord and my God. And I was saying to myself, uh, how many uh, now we, yes, many people go through periods of doubts about their faith, especially with all that we experience in the church with the uh, sexual abuse of, pre, of children by priests. Many people have doubts, but hopefully they will never give up that the Lord is ready to help them to always present himself to them and that all of us hopefully every time we look at Jesus on the altar that as I always was told by my mother to say to Jesus mon Seigneur et mon Dieu in French my Lord and my God. We take the opportunity now to pray for our needs and for all those in need, trusting in the everlasting goodness of the Lord. For the church, that we may always be willing to take up our cross and follow the Lord no matter the cost, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who provide leadership in government, in the workplace, and in the family, that they may shepherd their people along right paths and treat with compassion all who struggle or stray. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our nation as we celebrate Independence Day, that we be thankful for all who have given service to keep our country safe and free. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those anticipating the birth or adoption of a child, that they may know God's blessings in welcoming a new member to their family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For this parish family, that we may grow in willingness to offer hospitality to those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and those who care for them, that they know the compassionate love of Jesus, especially Deacon Ed Moser, Deacon Rick Pomfrey, Tammy Wilson, Barry Grimes, Barrett Constantine Rinklin, Gabby Short, Michelle Carr, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially Nicholas Pelosi, Mary DuPont, and all victims of war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the petitions written in our book of petitions, and all the intentions we hold faithfully in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving God, we sing of your goodness as we bring these needs before you. Listen to our prayers and grant them according to your will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, <clears throat> for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. 
Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Thank you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands, hands for, for the, the praise and glory of his name, name for, for our good and the good of all his holy church. church. We render you, O Lord, the service that is your due, humbly imploring you to keep safe your gifts in us as we honor the confession of the Apostle St. Thomas and offer you a sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up, up to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and, and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples as saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, as saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, when we eat, eat this, this bread and, and drink, drink this cup, cup we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face.
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Thomas, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on, on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world. Christ, grant, grant us peace. And condemnation. But through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should, should enter under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. 
O God, as we truly receive in this sacrament the body of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that we may recognize him with the Apostle Thomas by faith as our Lord and our God, and proclaim him by our deeds and by our life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass has ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.